In 2000, the Olsen brothers won the Eurovision Song Contest for Denmark with their song Fly on the Wings of Love. You guys, are you still flying with the Olsen brothers? Flying high in the sky. That would be yes. Yes, that would be yes. Yeah. Because, you know, the Olsen brothers were written off pretty quickly. I remember, at least here in Iceland, because everybody was like, well, two old guys playing guitars. Come on, really, Denmark? And then they came on stage and they just owned owned the, the arena from the minute they started singing and they were so just so father figurely cute. So and Fly on the Wings of Love is it's also my jam. I'm being rather positive here. You need to bring something that I hate. It's a good song. I don't know if it's dated that well. Like it's feel good song. I personally wouldn't download it or play it, but at the same time, when it's on, I wouldn't object to it being on and feel the need to stick my fingers in my ears. Like, it is really good at the time, and I really was a big fan. Um, there was a remix a few years later of it by XTM, and I was a big fan of that, but then when I listened to it the other day, I was like, oh, how did I like that? I agree. I think at the time, the song was really good. Like... The song reminds me of like every song that was played during the Sydney Olympics, which were coincidentally also in the same year. Kind of feel good, kind of like appeals to the masses. But like in 2015, I want to fly on the wings back to Australia, bury my head under a pillow and scream because I just don't want to listen to it anymore. <laughs> oh, the shade of it. Oh, now look, this is not my style of music. I would, as Porg said, I would not download this. But when I hear it, I'm like a big fan. Um, it's very Phil Collins meets Lion King. I don't know if that makes sense, but it just sounds like it would appeal to the masses, and it does, because, like, I wouldn't turn this off. Um, it won by 40 points over Russia's Alsu, which kind of annoys me. Like, I also preferred Latvia that year, Brainstorm with My Star, who came third. But I can see why this won, just because it is so mainstream. Um, and you know what? I like the fact that they were older guys and people wrote them off and they were like, no, <laughs> we're going to show you kids how to do this. And, you know, they still got it. They performed in Copenhagen um, at the opening ceremony of the Eurovision Red Carpet. Um, this was also one of the finalists for the 50th anniversary celebration show. And, of course, they're back at Greatest Hits. So someone in the EBU is obsessed with this song. Um, and I can't really blame them. And you also know that the, something that the Danes do better than anybody else, that is, you know, produce a song and perform a song that initially you really want to hate, but then you end up, like, singing along and dancing along like I do with last year's fiasco. And then I hate myself afterwards. But Olsen Brothers did it the right way. Actually, you love the song after it's finished. And you still sing along today. And I feel like this was one of the few songs that in the arena, even if you just watch it on YouTube, you get this sense the audience is really into it. I think you can even hear clapping or you can see clapping or something. I just remember feeling this other element that I didn't feel with the other songs rewatching. My, my friend was in the arena and he said, look, everything went completely crazy. The people were having lighters and small flashlights and you know everything was just going crazy people were singing along and dancing along so they owned it well let's get crazy with our scores and justifications josh so i originally gave this song a five out of ten um i kind of feel a little bit guilty about that now thinking about it like i feel like maybe my score was a little bit too harsh so now i'm going to give it a six <laughs> um a little bit better than average like it's Something that I wouldn't go out of my way to listen to now, um, but it's not a horrible song. It's just, it's just, it's it's okay. I don't mind it, and I'll listen to it if if it if it comes on. I give it a seven. It's pleasant, but it doesn't. It's too cheesy to merit any higher points from me. I give it a nine point five out of ten because it's still a feel good song today, and I. I don't know a single Eurovision fan that doesn't go crazy and sing along when Fly on the Wings of Love comes on. <laughs> I give this an 8. Um, I think they're really friendly and likable and you need someone like them to sing this song. If anyone else sang this song, anyone younger, it just wouldn't work. Um, and I also quite like the chatty verses when they go into the chorus. It's almost like they're talking. It's just quite sweet. So an 8, it's great. <laughs> 